Hey everyone, this is Bev from Art by Bidell, and after finishing up a big journal, I feel the need to, sorry about the rooster, <laughs> he's always putting his two cents in, I feel the need to just do a laid back project where I really don't have to think about it, and so today I'm going to make some masterboard mailing envelopes. I have some happy mail to send out, and I thought, you know, I don't want to just send it out in just a plain old manila envelope. I went and I bought a couple of these yesterday, and I'm like, okay, that's just not good enough. So, here I am today, I'm going to play, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use some Liquitex Gel Medium. And you can use whatever glue you want. You don't have to use this. This is just what I like to use. And I am going to take scraps that are on my table. Now, I did clean up yesterday around the table, as I always do after making a journal. I start I like to start fresh when I have a new journal. And so I clean up my mess. I do have these dictionary book pages and quite a stack of them actually. And I'm like, okay, I really don't need that many. So I'm going to use some of those and I have some book pages and I'm just going to, here's some of the book pages. They're a little different print, which adds a little different extra interest to our master board. And I'm going to make up three of these. So I uh, will get this done. And then I'll be back with the next step for you. So this one is all dry, and now I'm applying some a light coat of gesso across the whole piece. It just blends it all together. I could do just the seams if I wanted to, but uh, I wanted to do like the whole piece. I have some pieces that has a little bit of color. Some of the book pages has part of a, a photo on them. And so I just kind of wanted to just blend it all together. So I'm going to do this all three. I'm actually working on three of these at a time. There's that one. There's this one. You can see I just even added in some random bits of color here with just with some scraps that are on my table. And then here's this one that has like some text from a magazine or a book page and a photo and a little bit there and even more color here. So like I say, I'll go across all those with gesso and I'll be back. This is the fun part for me, when I get to play with color. So I have my Distress inks out, and I'm gonna start with doing a blue one. So I'm gonna pick out my three blue colors, and I think in that one, I may also want to add a little bit of purple with the blue. So we'll start there. I also like to take my acrylic block and my Mini Misters, they're by Ranger, my only issue with them is they don't hold much water <laughs> and it seems like I'm forever refilling these things, but it's okay because they have such a fine mist on them that it's, it doesn't add like whole great big drops of water unless you intentionally do that. My first color I'm going to use is Stormy Sky. I think, well, I thought maybe it would be the lightest one, but now that it's on my acrylic block, I'm not so sure it's the lightest one. And spritz it with water after I have it on my block. And then I'm just going to randomly add some color to my master board. And then I will dry this in between each color. Just because I don't want to muddy them up. Although when you're doing like the same shades of all one color it's not going to get muddy but i do tend to just dry everything in between my next color i'm using is broken china miss that that looks pretty with the stormy sky I don't know that I'm going to, now that I'm looking at this, I'm not going to add the third blue color. I'm going to put in a little bit of purple. So I'll dry this and then I'm going to do chipped sapphire. All right, time for the chipped sapphire. Oh, that's really intense. Let's see what we end up with here. 
Okay, that'll be our dark color. A little bit more. And when you're doing this, don't forget, we're doing our flap up on the top also, the inside of the flap. To me, that's starting to look very interesting. Let's get this dry. All right, and while I have these colors out, I'm gonna turn it around and as you can see, I have added gesso to the front side of my envelope, and now I'm going to add a little bit of the ink. So we'll start with Stormy Sky. I don't want to cover this. I think I'm just going to add a little bit of ink, like maybe in the corners of it. This is the side that's going to have the addresses, the mailing addresses on it. Uh, so we don't want to confuse anything. Um, we'll just put in a little bit of color here and there and save our room for our for our who we're mailing it to and then who it's coming from here and here and then we'll have our color around it we can also get some color up here on our flap don't forget the flap it's easy to kind of pass that by <laughs> you can see that the where there isn't any gesso we have much darker color with our ink. And I like that variation in it. That's why I leave a little bit. And I also like the color of the Manila envelope. I think it looks nice with whatever color actually that you're using. So, and we'll do a little bit of Broken China also. add your ink in different ways. You can use one of the applicators and rub it on. You can use a cotton ball and rub it on. You can take your ink pad directly to your surface and rub it on. There's many different ways you can add your ink. You don't have to use an acrylic block. It's just what I like to do. Okay, we'll get this dry. Back to the back. At this point, I want to use a little Distress Oxide and I have mustard seed that I want to use today or wild honey. Um, I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna do wild honey. Spits a little there, get it dry. And we've turned it around to the front and we're gonna add a little bit of the wild honey on the front and then we'll let it dry. I am going to now use one of the applicators and uh, Distress Oxide Vintage Photo, and I'm going to add this around all of the edges. Just like inking up any of your projects that you do. We're gonna get at the edges and then see how much more we wanna add after we do this. For my next step, I wanna add some stamping and I have this acrylic script stamp here and some distressed walnut stain. And I'm just gonna randomly add a little bit of script on both sides of this envelope. Again, keeping away from where I'm going to put addresses. I have this stamp. Uh, I, it's, it's not readable. I can't tell where it's from. Um, it says art on it. And I'm going to use the same, no, actually, I'm going to use my darkest color of blue, which was faded jeans. And I'm gonna stamp the word art randomly on our envelope. Both sides. I have been thinking about what more I want to add to this because this just doesn't quite cut it for me. It's pretty. I know I have a hard time stopping with my projects. I like to go and go and go. 
to send this through the meal, we can't add anything like lace or dimensional things without the fear of it getting damaged before it gets to the recipient. And that certainly wouldn't make it happy meal at that point. So while I'm on to stick to flat, I could add more paper to this if I wanted to, I'm not quite sure. But before that, I think I have decided, or I have decided that I'm going to take my Posca pens, shake them up and I'm gonna do some doodling. So I'll let you watch for a little while and, and then I'll come back when it's all done. Oh, I've completed my doodles as you can see they are not perfect by any means it is mm, kind of just fun I that was my plan today was to let go and have a little bit of fun without any stress I just wanted to do some art without being too concerned about the outcome of it is this beautiful well, in my eyes today, it is because it re I was relaxed, I was enjoying myself, and there was no stress involved. So, here we go. We are going to finish this up with a little bit of splatters. Now, the only thing I've used um, while you were away was my, my Posca pens, my paint Posca pens. Now I'm going to add splatters with um, Dr. Phil Martin's Calligraphy Copper Plate Gold Ink. And I will use, I kind of ruined my, yep, the rooster's back. I kind of ruined my brush, so let's see how well it will do with making splatters, even though it's stiff and Okay, so I still make splatters. So I like the gold splatters and I might even go along the outside edge of my envelope with some extra gold here when it's all done. I haven't finished the front side with any doodles yet. So I've added gold splatters. Now I wanna take and add some white splatters. And for that, I'm just gonna water down a little bit of gesso. Take some gesso out of my pot, put it on a palette. That's not going to take very much. That's probably too much. And I'm sorry, I'm doing this off the side of frame here. And then I'll add a little bit of water and mix that up until it's the consistency of probably like milk. And then I'll just add some white splatters. Now you might be saying, gosh, Bev, that's not um, junk journal style or that's not what kind of style is it? I'm not worried about style today. I'm worried about relaxing and enjoying myself and just chilling, getting ready for the next project I have in mind, but yet, not worrying about that project, just chilling. Everybody needs a day to chill. There we have it, that's what it's going to be. I'm going to do the other two probably in a green color. This one is dominantly blue, so I'll do a green and then maybe, hmm, I don't know. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. So there we have it guys. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this. Now these, 
projects, these envelopes can be used like I'm going to use mine for sending out happy mail. And how fun would it be to receive these in the mail and then use these in our journals? We could rip them up. We could fold them in half and use them as a page in our journal and have a, a pocket already made for us. Um, there's just so many things you can do with it. So it won't be wasted. We can use it. We can use it just to store ephemera. We can use it to make a folder with, um, yeah. So if you happen to get one of these in, in the mail, then don't throw it away. Use it in your journaling. You have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Mm -hmm.